Shepherd of the Shepherd of the Souls, Savior of the Souls, Lover of the Souls. We are on the Lord's side. Says that the battle is not to the strong, neither the race is to the sweet. The world says it's not that when it never is it, I would have was the Lord that showed mercy. And that your mercy and compassion have brought us together in one accord before your presence to hear that word of life, that word of restoration, that word that will further strengthen our faith because your word says that faith coming by hearing and hearing the word. And the Bible says, Without faith, no man can please you. But as many of us that will hear your word this hour, let our faith be strengthened, let every one of us be empowered. Let our souls be renewed. Let everyone receive strength, O Lord, to run this race in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, I surrender my body, soul, spirit, O Lord, unto you. Father, speak to me and speak to me this morment, to the glory of your name, Lord, and to the shame of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your word says that we are not ignorance of the devices of the devil, but I will come against every plus and plus of the devil, O Lord, to divide the heart of your children and to give them the wrong interpretation of your word into their heart. We silence their power. We defy the agenda and render them useless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, glorify yourself again. Do it the way you want to do it and take all the glory, take all the honor, and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Uh, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, this morning we are looking at a brief presentation titled Beware of the Living of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Beware of the living of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Brethren, if you turn your Bible to the book of Mark chapter 8, verse 15, and he turned them saying, take heed, beware of the living of the Pharisees and of, and of the living of Herod. Who are the Pharisees? Pharisees, these are no other Jews. In the time of Jesus Christ, they are called the Jews, and they are called the Jews, also known at the same time as the Sadducees. These Sadducees, they, they are very they are autocratic. These people, they make the law, they stay in the executive of the, of, of, of the council. We talk about these, these people, they believe in the Mosaic law. They, hold, they, they are so stereotyped. They hold on to the five books of Moses. But when Jesus Christ came, who Moses even talked about that would come and redeem the entire world, they, it was a fortunate that they could not read the handwriting on the wall. They could not really understand what was going on because they were so carnal and because they were holding on to the tenets of the five book of what Moses praised Master Jesus Christ. The Pharisees said that they believed in the Old Testament. They tried to obey God's law, but often they pretend to be holier than that they really were. They obey many unimportant laws, but often they fail to obey God's important laws, and they refuse to listen to Jesus. They care more about their religion than about God. Their leaders oppose Jesus. Who are the Sadducees? Sadducees is one of the group of the Jews who did not believe in heaven and resurrection. An important group of Jews at the time of Jesus, they only used the five books at the beginning of the Old Testament. They believed that the people would not live again after death. These were these two kind of people that were in, in confrontation with the Lord Jesus during his ministry on earth. 
That is why the Bible makes us to understand. If you turn your Bible again to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 20, it says, For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall in no, in, in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Brethren, if you can still remember the story of Nicodemus. Who was Nicodemus? Nicodemus was a Jew, a Pharisee, a master of Israel, who understood the Mosaic law that came to meet Jesus Christ by night. Let us quickly turn our Bible to the book of John chapter 3, verse 1. He said there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This same came to to Jesus by night and say unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art teacher from God, for no man can do this miracle that thou doeth, except God be with him. In verse 3, Jesus put it straight forward to him without wasting time. Jesus answered and said unto him, Very, very, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verse 4, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born? When he's old, can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born again? Was that what Jesus Christ was really talking about? No. Jesus Christ was making him to talk, understand that except a man is born of the water and of the spirit, there is no way he can enter into the kingdom of God. And this was more confusing unto him. Brethren, when it comes to spirituality, theology, no matter the, the high level that you have attained in theology, it will not save you. It will not, it will not, it will not give you salvation. The only thing that can give you salvation is the truth. And where can you find that truth? That truth is Jesus Christ. That is why Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comment unto the Father except through me. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brethren, what are we talking about? Jesus Christ truly admonished his disciples to be careful of the living of the Pharisees. If you turn your Bible to the book of again, Matthew chapter 16, verse 6, he said, Jesus said unto them, Take it and beware of the living of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. We all know the way living are. When we talk about living, we are talking about that thing that you can that you, you add to your flower or to uh, better still uh, that you add to the uh, to that dough that make it to rise. If you take a look at a lot of Christians today, the, the, the so-called modern Pharisees have laid the wrong foundation for them. They are telling them, go ahead, you will make heaven with all the attachment that you load on your head. You will make attachment with this trouser, this tight-fitted trouser that you are putting on. You will make heaven with all kind of things. God only look at the heart, forgetting to make them understand that the body and the heart matters to God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Brethren, uh, the yeah. Bible makes us to understand, if you turn your Bible to the book of, of, of the book of first, uh, uh, amen. If you turn your Bible quickly to the book of second Corinthians, second Corinthians, praise Master Jesus. I'm coming to the scripture. First Corinthians, first Corinthians, sorry, first Corinthians chapter 5 verse 6. He said, Your glory is not good. Know ye not that a little living living the whole long. Your glory is not good. Know ye not that a little living living the whole long. That is to tell you how powerful that living is. If you allow the living of the Pharisees to enter you, you will not die. You, they will drag you away from the narrow way and put you on that wide way that leads to everlasting destruction. He said, Jesus said unto, said unto them, uh, sorry, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6, he said, you know, your glory is not good. No, you know that the little living, living the whole long. Verse 7, put out therefore the old living, that he may be, may be new long as he are unliving. For even Christ, our Passover is sacrifice for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old living, neither with the living of malice and wickedness, but with the unliving bread of sincerity and truth. My beloved brethren, this is what Jesus Christ was making them to understand. But the Pharisees could not 
decipher or could not understand the handwriting on the wall. They hold on to the tenets of the five books of Moses. They, they, they were still holding on to that idea which says that you have no reason to mingle with the Gentiles. You have no reason to fellowship with the Gentiles. They were exhibited and holy at that attitude. They, they forget the weightier matters and talk about irrelevant matters that will take people into destruction. Brethren, if you want to, for us to understand more about what the Bible was making us to understand concerning the Pharisees, if you turn your Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 23, Matthew chapter 23 gives us a clearer picture concerning the Pharisees and the Sadducees. He said, and then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, whosoever that bid you observe, that observe and do that, do and do, but do not ye after their work, for they say, and do not. For, for they be heavy bodies and grievous to, to be born, to, to be born, and lay them on men's shoulders, that they themselves will not move them with one with one of their finger. I take it again. He said, for they bind heavy bodies and grievous to be born. Oh, and let them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. That's fine. But all their words they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their philateries and enlarge the borders of their garments. Brethren, I was listening to news last time. About 4,800 4, children were abused by Catholic priests. They sexually abused between the age of 10 and 12. People still go to that place to say their Hail Mary. People still go there to go and say they worship God. Even the, the high level of disgrace and the, the way God is exposing them to the entire world. But they have lost their sense of reasoning for them to understand that these people are leading people to hell. Brethren, when you take a look at this Catholic priest, if you see their garment, the way they are well iron, you see he's looking so white. If you see the way they talk, God bless you, they say all sorts of things, you think that they are next to God. You think that they are already in heaven. But these people, they are they are like the sepulchre that are filled with dead bones and rotting bones of men. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said, they bind heavy bodies, gracious to the bone, and lay them on men's shoulders. The dead themselves will not move them with one finger. That's fine. He said, but all their work they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their philateries and enlarge the borders of their garment. The seats and not the upper, uppermost room and the feast and the chief seat in the synagogue. When you go to churches today, you hear they call them elders. When they sit at the altar, when you see them, the way they are gorgeous, gorgeously dressed, you look how they are so, so fascinating in that appearance. But their hearts are polluted and defiled. That is the modern Pharisees that Jesus Christ is telling you and I to run away from. Run away from them because their living will pollute you, will corrupt you, will dump you into hell. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Um, he said, they love the uppermost room at their feast and the chief seat in the synagogue and greeting in the market and to be called by men, Rabbi, Rabbi, just like the way they call the priest, the Catholic priest. They, they, they receive honor, honor that will take them to eternal condemnation. And they call no man. And in verse 9, he said, Call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Verse 10, neither be ye called master, for one is your master, evil Christ. He said, But he that is greater among you shall be your servant. Verse 12, he said, Whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Verse 13, know this verse 13 very well. He said, But go unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourself, neither suffer ye them that are entry to go in. Verse 14, he said, Go unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour windows, with, you, you devour windows, houses, and for pretense and make long prayer. Therefore, you shall receive greater condemnation. You see, they pray, Father, they, they can pray for people for one hour for people to see. 
But in their closet, they cannot pray up to 10 minutes. They cannot pray up to five minutes. Brethren, what are we talking about? You sit there, they say, God bless you. But in the innermost mind of, 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 of their being, they are, they, are, they are evil. They are satanic in their heart. They have led a lot of people astray. They have corrupted the word of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 16 says, Woe unto you, you blind guides. We say, Whatsoever shall, shall wear by the temple, it is nothing. But whatsoever shall wear by, by the gold of the temple is a debtor. 17. You fools are blind. For whether is greater the gold of the temple that sanctified the gold. 18. And whatsoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whatsoever that swear by the gift, that is upon it is guilty. Verse 19. You fools are blind, for whether is greater the gift of the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift. Verse 20. Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, swear by it, and by all things thereon. Verse 21. And whosoever shall swear by the temple, swear by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. 22. And he that shall swear by heavens, swear by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. 23. He said, But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithes of might and armies and coming, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. Judgment, mercy, faith, this ought you to have done, not to leave other undone. You blind guides, we strain at the, at the gland and swallow a camel. Brethren, this is what the Lord is making you and I to understand. I remember my encounter with the Jehovah's Witness. I call them the modern day Pharisees. Each time they are talking, they say Jehovah, 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 Jehovah's blessings, Jehovah's. Good Jehovah's blessings. But I make them to understand that according to the book of Matthew, chapter 16, they are talking. Jesus Christ said, Go out and preach in my name. In, in Mark chapter, let's quickly turn our Bible to the book of Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16, I read from Mark chapter 16, I read from verse 14. Okay, I take it from verse 15. And he said unto them, Go you into all the world and preach the gospel every, to every creature. 16. He that believeth is baptized and shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. 17. And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak, then you will speak with new tongues. They shall take off serpents. And if they drink any deadly things, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. As I was reading this part of the scripture to the Jehovah's Witness, they were looking at me. It's as if I was reading from my brain. And after I finished reading it to them, one of them said he wants to look at my Bible. And he looked at my Bible and he saw that I was reading it from my Bible, King James Version. And when as I told him, let me see his Bible. This part of the scripture from this verse 15 was totally pulled out. From verse 15 to 20 was not where to be found in their Bible. I now, I now asked, why was it, why is this scripture is, is not in your Bible? He said, yes, because of the, uh, the scripture has undergone. Uh, I said, this is the reason why we cannot we have no meeting point. That is why you go in the name of Jehovah. You said you are preaching Jehovah. Jesus Christ said, go and preach in my name. Go and baptize in my name. Whatsoever you are doing in my name, you have done the same to God himself, which is the creator of heaven and earth. Anything that you do in the name of Jesus, any glory you give to Jesus Christ, you have given it to his father because Jesus Christ and his father, they are one. Run from these people. They are the modern Pharisees that we are talking about. They forget the weightier matters and they lay emphasis that things that does not matter. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brethren, if you go back further again to 25, it says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make clean outside the cups of the platter, that with it they are full of extortions and excess, like the Catholic priests. You say the Catholic priests, when they are giving their mass in the altar, I remember those days when I used to attend too, when they are taking their Holy Communion, you think that 
you think you think that the angels are already there. You see the you see the atmosphere. You think that oh, these people are already in heaven. Mm. When you see the way they gather their hand, they do their face, the, the way they will, you will be curious to baptize and start taking holy communion. But whereas these are high level of hypocrisy mm. that is being displayed in your very eye. If I, Jesus Christ said, Go unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make it outside the cup of the platter that within are full of extortion and excesses. Verse 26. Thou blind Pharisees, clean Christ that which is within the cup and platter, and that the outside of them might be clean also. You that is saying that the heart does, the, the, the body does not matter, the heart matters. The Bible says, Out of the abundance of the heart, the man speaketh. Brethren, whatsoever you see in the physical is a reflection of the heart. The heart controls the physical. Anything before you want to eat, it, you are, must have lost it, is a thought. Every action is after thought. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You don't just wake up and start doing something. You must first of all know it in your heart. That is why Jesus Christ makes us to understand that it is not only he that fall into the sin of fornication and adultery that have committed it. If you lost after a woman in your heart, if you lost after a man in your heart, you have already done the heart because you know why every action is after thought. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 27, he said, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like unto a, a white sepulchre, which indeed appear beautiful at, at, at all, but are within full of dead men's bones and of, of cleanliness. Brethren, that is how the modern Pharisees are today. You can see many pastors today when they come to the altar, they preach. They preach like saints, or they preach very well. But in the innermost secret of their secret, they they are they are worse than the devil. They are devils incarnate. Praise Master Jesus Christ. That is why the Lord is telling you and I this very hour: we should be aware of the living of the Pharisees before they corrupt you. Even so, ye also actually appear. I'm reading verse 28 now of Matthew chapter 23. He said, Even so, you also actually appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. If you are obeying, if you are connected in this mountain, you appear holy in outward appearance, but inwardly you still indulge in, in worldliness. The Bible says, You are a modern Pharisee. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophet and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, and say, if we, were, if we had been in the days of our father, we would not have been partaker with them in the blood of the prophets. Therefore, you be a witness unto yourself that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Brethren, what are we talking about? The beware of the living of the Pharisees because when you, you eat from those living it will contaminate you it will pollute you it will defile you and send that person into eternal condemnation praise Master Jesus Christ the word of God makes us to understand he said least Satan should get advantage of us but we are not ignorance of the devices of the devil in that same second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 17 he said for we are not as many which corrupt the word of God the Pharisees they have corrupted the word of God they have defied the word of God they have polluted the word of God and they have rendered ineffective I pray that will not be our portion in Jesus name Amen. He said, For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of, go of God, in sight of God, speak we in Christ. Brethren, as a child of God, sincerity and truth should be our watchword. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, if you turn your Bible again to the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 1, he said, They came to Jesus. He said, They came to Jesus. To, to Jesus, scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do the disciples transgress the tradition of, of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. The spirit. Then he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of, commandment of God by your tradition? 
Verse 4. For God commanded, saying, Honor the father and mother, and he that cursed father and mother, let him die the death. Verse 5. He said, that he said, Whatsoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift. There was whatsoever thou by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Verse 6. Honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have you made the commandment of God of non effect by your tradition. Verse 7. Ye hypocrites, where did Isaiah prophesy of you saying, verse 8, these people draw near unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, that their heart is far from me. Verse 9. But in vain did they worship me, teach for the doctrines, the commandment of men. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last time, the man of God was telling me something. How can somebody say he see a vision for you? You should go and bring money. If you don't bring money so so and so time for, for him to use it to do the rituals he wants to do for you, to do the prayer that he wants to do, the, the holy prayer they call it. Thank God the person is far away. These are the same pastor that will come, that will tell a woman, come to my house, come to my bedroom, so that I can impart the prayer into you. You must have to undress so that as I'm praying, the prayer will be entered very well. He told this person, go and bring the money so that he can pray this prayer. If he doesn't bring the money, so so and so time, the person will die. These are the Pharisees that you need to run away from. If they leave, they enter you. It will corrupt you. It will destroy you and land you in a place where you do not intend to find yourself. They have rendered, they have established their own tradition instead, instead of the commandment of God. They have rendered the word of God ineffective because of their foolish and man-made tradition. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 10, verse 2, he said, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. They have zeal for God, like the Catholic priest. If you see the Catholic priest, you think that they are already in heaven. They are, you see all their appearance, the way they demonstrate it. You think that they are Christ-like. But they have zeal, but not according to the knowledge of God. For they be ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. I have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, and then further, 2 Timothy chapter 3 further corroborate what Romans chapter 10 verse 2 make us to understand. He said, having form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. He said, from such, turn away. Verse 7, he said, ever learning, never able to come to the knowledge of the, of the truth. If you take a look at the Catholic priests, they speak Latin. They speak all kinds of... But these people, they are satanic. How can a priest be abusing a 10 years old, 10 years old and a 12 years old boy and girl? Pedophilia, which is, the, which is very, very absurd. Beware of them. You also have them among the Pentecostal pastors. Run away from them. Take your children away from them. Don't entrust your children into their hands. They are the, 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 the living. They are the, the modern Pharisees that the Lord Jesus Christ is warning you and I to be aware of before they are living, corrupt you, defile you, pollute you, and send you to the place you do not want to go. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Uh, Only God knows what they have injected into these 4,800 children that were abused by this Catholic priest. If you go to Romans chapter 1, verse 24, I'm rounding up now. He said, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own heart, to dishonor their own bodies, between themselves, who change the truth of God into lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who, who is blessed forever. Amen. 26. For this cause, God gave them up into a vile affection. Even their women did change the nature of youth. The natural use into that which is against nature, 27. And likewise, also the men living the natural use of the women. You can see the Catholic priest who told them not to marry. He said it's better to marry than to born. If you know you cannot stay, nobody take. look at Samuel. Samuel served God, he was a priest. God used Samuel mightily and he finished very well. Samuel was married with children. Who told the Catholic priest not to marry? Apostle Paul said, it is better if you, if you are like me. This is not a commandment. But if you wish to be like me, 
it is good. It will enhance your ministerial work so that you will not be distracted. Who told the Catholic priest not to marry? But you see these people, they have established their own tradition. Even the tradition they established, they cannot even keep it. And they are going about defiling women in the congregation. Praise Master Jesus. Establishing their own traditions that would lead souls into eternal condemnations. And for this cause, God gave them unto vile affection. You see Catholic priests sleeping with themselves, sleeping with the Reverend Sisters. And when you come out, when you see they put on that their dress, you say, oh, these are holy. These are, these are virgins. These are chaste. These are pure. Not knowing that they are the whited sepulchres that are filled with dead men's bones. Praise Master Jesus Christ. My beloved brethren, the Lord is telling you and I this morning to run away from them, flee from them, so that you will not be corrupted. Praise Master Jesus Christ. So brethren, what are we talking about? That the only way that leads to everlasting life is Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus. Jesus Christ will give you life. Jesus Christ will restore you. Jesus Christ will show you the way that leads to that paradise that you are seeking for. Not Catholic priests, not the modern day Pharisees, not all these disco pastors that watered and defied the word of God and render it ineffective and make it not meaningful unto you, but rather come to Jesus Christ. He will show you the way and he will, he will guide you into that everlasting life that we all are looking upon unto in no distance time. May the Lord bless his word in our heart and make it prosperous in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you there? You have not yet given your life unto Jesus. He's knocking at the door of your heart this morning. You are one of the modern day Pharisees, the modern day Sadducees, because you are far from the truth. Say the Pharisees are far from the truth, while the Sadducees are far from the truth. Come to Jesus Christ. He's ready to accept you, wash you clean, and restore you to your original divine plan and purpose. Say this brief prayer, confession after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you this morning. I know I am a wretched sinner. I know I'm not worthy of standing before you. I acknowledge my iniquities before you. Have mercy upon me. Let my sins be blotted out, and let my name be blotted out from the book of death and hell, and let it be written in the book of life. I accept you today, Lord Jesus Christ, as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. Take total control of my life and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. If you have just said this brief prayer of confession, heaven rejoice over your soul and I pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring these ones before you. I give them into the pool of the blood of Jesus. Father, I ask you, Lord, that you strength them, you empower them. You grant them the grace and strength to remain faithful, holy, and righteous to the end. Father, I put your seal upon their life. Father, their life shall be invisible against every demonic observers in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, oh Lord, let these ones, oh Lord, let these ones, oh Lord, remain faithful. Let these ones, oh Lord, remain pure in your vineyard till the end in the mighty name of Jesus. Satan will not see these ones. Satan will not hijack these ones anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. God, glory and honor be unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Quickly, I want the rest of us to go on our knee and talk to the Lord. Say, Father, grant me the grace and strength to invite your word with hook, line, and sinker. Grant me that designing spirit to know the modern day Pharisees that are there to, 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 to capture souls into hell. Grant me the grace and strength to flee from them, not to be diluted, not to be defied by them in the mighty name of Jesus. Grant me the grace and strength to be clear of the living of the Pharisees. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, my Redeemer, my Savior. You shall not praise the Lord of the potent God. Grant me the grace and strength, O Lord, to dig deep into your wall. Grant me the grace and strength, O Lord, to be clear of the living of the Pharisees that design the spirit, O Lord, to know the living of the Pharisees in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so that I will not fall free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Yes, every man, every one of us, Lord. Father, none of us in this mountain will fall free of the living of the Pharisees in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, give us your Thank you, Father. Thank you, yes, In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen.
Oh, my time was everlasting. Father, we thank you for worship you. Bless you, Lord, we adore you. Father, we thank you again for your word again that have come into our heart again this morning. But I pray as many of us, Lord, have heard it. Grant us the grace and strength, Lord, to abide by your word, to live by your word, oh Lord. Not to be hijacked or captured by the, by the modern day Pharisees, oh Lord. Hijacking souls that have laid one foundation for many souls that have already heard it for hell. Father, none of us in this mountain we fall free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as mm-hmm. many souls, oh Lord, they have captured, oh Lord. Father, we ask, oh Lord, that let your grace and mercy look Okay, them and deliver them, open their spiritual eyes and ear for them to come to the realization of the truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, continue to disgrace them in that altar so that as many of your children that you have captured will be set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank mm-hmm. you, Father. Father, Lord God Almighty, as I said, what? Which out of context, as I said, what I put to myself, but I ask for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with us, people. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Bishop of a soul, shepherd of a soul. 